Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing a quick test of the FCI FC72 and the little miniature demonstration board using devices that are uh, pulled from what would be a uh, 1980s or 1990s era Edwards system. And so this arrangement of devices was requested by Frank Doherty on uh, one of my system test videos. Unfortunately, I can't run this horn um, in a full system test because it throws a little bit too much noise and uh, electrical disturbance back onto the NAC circuit um, for the SXLEX. So it still works, but it causes the, the panel to behave a little bit erratically when I tried it once, so I, I really don't want to push it. Uh, but anyways, it operates just perfectly fine on the FCI FC72 because this one has... Uh, notably stronger NAC circuits to support horns like this, um, even though the NAC circuits on the SXLEX are, are fairly good for a modern panel. So anyways, the large Edwards horn you see there is a model number 895B-001. This is an electromechanical horn. It basically has a, um, a uh, uh, what would you even call it, like the mechanism from a uh, older Edwards adapter horn. Um, stuck behind that plastic casing from the 892 series. Um, and that does operate on 24 volts DC, obviously. And then next to it is an Edwards EST. Um, it's a 202-7A-T, um, although there's probably 15 different model numbers listed on it. Um, for whatever reason, I think that's the one. Um, based on whoever was distributing it, I guess, um, change the model number. But anyways, um, the only coding option that the FC72 does is continuous, and it doesn't really have a audible silence feature. So the horn will be going off in continuous with both of the strobes activated, and then when it's silenced, both of them will shut off. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the pull stations, and then we'll get started. For the pole stations, we don't have anything too far out of the ordinary. Uh, you can see that I left up the FCI MS6 from the last test because I really don't have any other Edwards stations that would go good with this system, but you know that's from roughly the same time period, so we can just imagine maybe it was like a, a replacement device or something. Uh, but anyways, the device that does match up is an Edwards 270 SPO. Um, this is a classic alarm that you could have found on some of the very earliest Edwards systems uh, all the way through the 80s and 90s and uh, even on modern systems today sometimes this particular station was manufactured in 2002 um, so it's a little bit newer and it has the newer Edwards Shield logo on it uh, but anyways I think we're just gonna go ahead and start it off right now by activating the 270 SPO uh, but right before I do that I have to re-enable all the zones on the uh, FC72, I had them disabled so that the uh, nothing started sounding when I was setting up for the system. Anyways, uh, so now all the zones are re-enabled, and we can go ahead and pull it. So now we silence the zone on the panel, and you can see that the trouble on the zone came up almost the way of the panels, uh, notifying the operator of an audible silence in the system since this panel is so weird with how the silence works on the zone. Uh, it's more like you're disabling the zone um, than you are silencing it. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and reset that pull station. And I think because I showed the MS6 in the last video, there's uh, along with the i3, there's no real point in activating that today, so uh, we'll just close that one back up and reset the system, and I think we'll be done. And of course, on the 270, just insert the screw or the screwdriver on the top. Reset the switch. 
close it back up. This brake rod here is just a tube from a pen, um, so it just bends out of the way when the station's activated, which is why it didn't shatter all over the carpet here. Um, but now we can go ahead and reset the panel. And I'll hit the reset button, and I'll re-enable the zone. Uh, you can see that this uh, battery trouble LED came on and there's still a system trouble. That's just because I don't have a, uh, a battery pack in this panel right now, but the, uh, the trouble silent switch has been in the silent position this whole time, so that's why there's no noise. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this short little test, um, and keep an eye out for my future videos with the little miniature board and the next system test back up on the main board. Uh, very soon here. So thank you for watching and have a great day.